So this is day one. Let me turn it around actually. So this is day one, week one of the 30 days to healthy living. And um, it's breakfast time basically. So I just thought I would basically talk through what I have for breakfast or what I have every morning. So first thing that I usually do when I wake up is this little thing now if you follow me on instagram you will already see what this is and that is the greens glow shot that's what we all call it um and that basically consists of the greens balance digestion plus which you can get in the 30 day program and then i add in the skin elixir as well and um basically what that does is that the greens balance has antioxidants photonutrients and fiber really really good for like supporting your immune system and a healthy gut digestion plus has like pre and probiotics and uh, i think it's got enzymes as well again supporting your healthy gut and then the skin elixir has um, botanicals that help build collagen so it just helps your body naturally build its own collagen um, which is good for the skin it's good for hair and nails too um, although it's mostly focused on your skin basically so making sure that your skin is looking good young plump all that kind of stuff and then I've got today just to finish this off for breakfast I'm just having a smoothie today because I'm being very very lazy um, and that's just how much I'm having and in that I've got two scoops of the prout protein powder which comes with the 30 days I've got a quarter of a scoop of fiber um, you can actually have too much fiber if you're not if your body's not used to it then it can actually cause like upset stomach as well so I start slow and build it up throughout and then I've just added a scoop of the whole food blend multivitamin and mineral boost this is an add-on does not come with the 30-day program these two like do and then in here I've just got um, what's it called banana and almond butter with oat milk so for lunch today on day one I'm actually having beans and an egg this is technically not 30 days approved the beans because there is vinegar in it but I need to go shopping so um, we are actually going food shopping today still better than eating absolute junk so yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch today. Okay, so I have just worked out and um, it's now 4.27. So I'm a little bit late on my like snack. I'm really red actually as well. But I'm a little bit late on my snack, but I'm basically having a protein shake. So this is the strawberry flavored protein that doesn't come in the 30 days to healthy living, unfortunately. But um, if you were doing the 30 days to healthy living, you could just, yeah, have a protein shake basically. But this I've done with water rather than with milk, um, just because the one that I had this morning was with almond milk. So I don't, I, yeah, I just don't want to have another milk protein shake, if that makes sense. Um, also, because those are just easier, they're less filling, and I'm not actually super, super hungry, but I'm just like a little bit peckish, so I don't want to just have the, the shake and just like have that as like my snack. So I'm having little baby tomatoes as well. I'm not having that many, that's just one there. And I've got a couple more here. And that's my snack. I'm feeling fine. I haven't actually got like hungry at all, but for me, what I have the struggle with is um, eating out of boredom like I don't eat because I'm hungry I eat genuinely for something to do which is a very very annoying and shitty habit to have so I'm trying to change that so I haven't actually craved anything which is really great because the pro I know that the protein shakes are so good for that to like cut your cravings because it really balances out your blood sugar levels so that's really really good um, but I have like thought about just snacking out of pure boredom which is just ridiculous um <laughs> and it's like i'm not even hungry it's yeah it's crazy but um we're going to the shops later so we'll be able to get loads of good food in and i can sort of show you what i snack on and stuff when i do snack um which i am trying to limit anyway because i am a bit of a grazer is that the right word i think it's the right word also i am all red and stuff because i just filmed my first of the workouts that i'm also doing um in the 30 day program because i do want to be healthy so i want to implement exercise into that as well and um i've decided to start with twice a week i'm thinking 
once I'll do like a, a hit workout sort of circuit and then um, the other week I might do something a bit more fun I don't know um, I might just do another hit workout or I might find I might actually see if there's like some sort of like dance or Zumba lessons on YouTube that I can do um, and if there is I will link them in the workout video description just so that you have that um, too because obviously I'm not a personal trainer I'm just trying to implement exercise back into my days and into my routine so there's that um, cool so I will check in with you when it's dinner time so I actually forgot to film this before I took a bite tonight's dinner is this pizza so the base is gluten free like vegan it's from the free from aisle and then the cheese as well is also vegan cheese it's like a vegan mozzarella um free from like gluten wheat all of that kind of stuff and then i've got what's it called what are they called mushrooms pine nuts um spinach and some pesto and it's um also free from pesto you can find it again in the free from aisle and that's dinner today right so for day two on the 30 days this is breakfast i've obviously got my greens shot with uh, the greens balance and digestion plus and then the added skin elixir and then this is the chocolate protein with oat milk and some gluten-free oat muesli with blueberries on top and that recipe actually i got from sid so shout out to sid so this is my lunchtime snack on day two so i would actually have this with hummus but we don't actually have any hummus so it is just some carrots and cucumber with some um, kettle, kettle, <laughs> kale crisps that you just put in the oven. Okay, so I'm now on meal three and this is a smoothie bowl. So I just made a quick smoothie bowl with, I used oat milk, frozen bananas and frozen avocado and then two scoops of the Arbon vanilla protein powder and then I've just added blueberries and then this powder is actually like a flax, flax pumpkin um, oh god it's like a load of seeds basically <laughs> uh, loads of different seeds and goji berry all like powdered up basically and then I just added a little thin layer of pumpkin seeds as well like I know that it's got pumpkin seeds in that little powdery stuff but I kind of like the crunch as well so that's what I'm gonna have for my snack now so I have a confession to make obviously this series is to show the 30-day program and obviously just make me accountable and just show my journey with it today's dinner is not fully 30-day approved so yeah however <laughs> I have learnt so I didn't plan what my dinner was gonna be this um, this evening and then I am the type of person who uh, sometimes I get very lazy with cooking. I don't really enjoy it that much. So I just like easy things that I can slap bang together. So maybe I should meal prep more. That might be something that will work for me. So I'm definitely going to try meal prepping and see if that works. But today's dinner is as follows. Da -da -da -da. So I've got some wedgies and I've got, this is a veggie burger. This is what was just in the oven, uh, not in the oven, what am I about? This is what was in the freezer, but I did start, <laughs> we started off well. We have um, our half plate of vegetables, so I've got mushrooms, sweet corn and beans, runner beans, I can't remember what those beans are called. And then I was like, damn it, what else am I going to have with this? Because remember guys, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat meat, I don't eat fish. Um... So yeah, so I was like, uh, oh, what am I gonna have? And then I got really lazy and was like, oh, this part's done and it's cooked and it's easy. So I just looked in the freezer and was like, fuck it, I'll just put this together. Um, which is not the attitude to have, but we learn, it's a journey. So that's what my dinner is today. And it is not 100% 30 day approved. I apologize. So it is day three and today's breakfast is scrambled eggs with spinach and mushrooms i thought i'd go for this i really just fancied some scrambled eggs so i thought that's what i'm gonna have for breakfast today and there we go okay so i've kind of been busy today and totally forgot to have my um lunch snack so this is like my after lunch snack i'm not sure but i wanted to have another smoothie bowl uh that's just what i fancied so i'm having 
another smoothie bowl again um, and this is again just like the one that I had previously so it's banana avocado almond milk with two scoops of the vanilla protein blueberries and some of the um, powder which has like flax seeds pumpkin seeds and loads of stuff like that I should probably actually get that just so I can show you guys what it is but yeah that's what I'm having again okay so for today for dinner I'm having pasta with pesto and pine nuts. Uh, the pasta and the pesto are gluten free, so it is 30 day approved. And obviously you just have to have pine nuts with pesto. Fancied another smoothie bowl. So I've basically just got a chocolate smoothie bowl. Um, in it is uh, frozen avocados and banana, because banana is my favorite fruit. And then I've got obviously two scoops of the Arbonne protein powder in chocolate flavor. And then I've also added in a scoop of our multi oh there we go a scoop of our whole food blend multivitamin and mineral boost and then i've just topped it up with blueberries and that flax sort of seed stuff blueberries and that seed stuff and that is actually this so that's what it looks like um it's flax sunflower pumpkin and sesame seeds and goji berries so it's yeah, it's got all the good sort of seeds and fats basically and that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast today. I just wanted to add that I do have my green shot every morning. I forgot to mention it in the last clip, but um, I have this every morning regardless if I'm on the 30 days or not. So I've kind of like <laughs> forgotten to mention it because it's just like part of my routine now. Okay, so it is now lunch time. I think, yeah, lunch time. And today I am having, let me just switch around. Da, 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 da. So I'm having a beetroot. Um, avocado and tomato salad with these I don't actually know what they're called but it's basically egg um, egg with a bit of sage and onion gluten-free stuffing with spinach and a bit of parsley and then I've just put a little bit of salt and pepper and then you kind of just like fry them um, so I don't know what you would even call that but fritters I don't know but yeah I'm having some of these I also have a two or three little pancake things like left over as well so that I can have a snack on later. And that's what I'm having for lunch. Okay, so I left my um, memory card upstairs and I can't be bothered to run up and get it. So I'm just gonna film this on my phone quickly. Um, it is now breakfast time, uh, Friday, day five breakfast. I'm actually about to jump out and go for a walk um, just because, yeah, I wanna be implementing like exercise and I kind of slacked a little bit I did have one day of exercise this week um but yeah I'm trying to implement more so I'm going to go for a walk in the morning and I think exercising in the morning is just a lot better for me and it just gets it out of the way and done so for today this is what I've got I've obviously got the greens balance just there which I'm about to do and then I've just made a really quick shake um and here is the chocolate arbon uh, oh my god the Arbon protein powder in the flavored chocolate and then I've got a big handful of blueberries and a big dollop of almond butter with oat milk and um, yeah that's what I've got for my breakfast it's going to have obviously with the blueberries it's got the antioxidants and stuff like that so it's great but um, it's not as thick as my usual ones but it's fine I'm going to have my snack and stuff like not long after coming in so um yeah, I'm gonna take this with me when I go for a walk. That's why I've put it in the shaker. Okay, so I am having like my lunch a little bit later than I should have, but I just wasn't hungry and I'm not gonna like force myself to eat every four hours if I'm not hungry. This is like a three bean salad. Um, I think you can get it, oh, where, where is this from? I think it's from Tesco, but it's like those salsa style, like three bean salad. And then this is just half an avocado with a bit of salt and pepper. Then I've also got some olives stuffed with garlic on the side. And that's what I'm gonna have. Hey, yeah, so I didn't end up having a snack. Um, my lunch was kind of late-ish. And then I had a product party and stuff like that and I was quite busy so um, I just tend to forget or even feel hunger when I get busy. So I'm now having dinner and this is what I'm having for dinner today. So this is a Friday dinner which is day five. Um, I'm having the gluten free, like dairy free, you know the free from pasta. And it's got the three bean. I can't even remember what that bean mix is called. I should really find out. But it's like a bean mix that you can get from Tesco. And then I've got beetroot 
avocado and baby tomato salad with a half, a half boiled, <laughs> with a boiled egg. And that's what my dinner is for today. Okay, so it is now Saturday of week one and I'm just having my breakfast. So I thought, well, I didn't think this was the whole point of this video. I'm gonna show you what I'm having. So today I'm having the chocolate oats again. I mean, you can't see them under the, all of the bananas, but um, yeah, so this time I've used a scoop of the chocolate protein powder and a scoop of the vanilla. And then it's, um, it's like the gluten-free oat muesli. And then I've just cut up a banana on top of it. And then I've obviously got my greens shot that has um, the digestion plus and skin elixir so for meal two on saturday i've left it really late actually because it's now 3 25 and i haven't eaten anything since breakfast which was at like eight o'clock pretty bad but um actually i did have a slice of mum's orange cake that's a lie i did have a slice of mum's orange cake which is just there um, but this is what I'm gonna have now for like lunch snack meal and that's the leftover gluten-free pasta with like the three bean It's a free bean salad. Is it? Yeah, the free bean salad and then some baby tomatoes as well It's Saturday dinner time today's dinner isn't fully fully 100% 30 day approved, but It's close. I'm in high traffic zone. So it may be a bit loud because mum is in the midst of cooking dinner and dad is watching some YouTube. So, dinner for me is these, the worst time, probably the worst time to start filming, is these vegan, they're pea protein based um, chorizo, chorizo style sausages, not 100% 30 day, but I fancied them and yeah, we got them. And then mum is literally just starting up on the omelette. So I'm having an omelette, which is spinach and what's the other white bit? Spinach, spring onion. And spring onion, that's it. And parsley. And parsley. And that's what I'm having for dinner. The rest is having this pasta and this wheat barley thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so it is Sunday and today's breakfast is a chocolate smoothie bowl with bananas and that flaxy type thing on top. Um, so I've just got the two scoops of the Arbonne chocolate vanilla, uh, not chocolate vanilla, the chocolate protein powder and I've also got a scoop of the whole food blend and mineral boost as well with almond milk. Okay, so for Sunday dinner, we've got a burger, not 100% 30 day approved, but we need to cook it. Some potatoes, sweet potato, carrots, and then a load of other veg as well, like kale, um, what's it called, asparagus, broccoli, peppers, and those little baby corn as well. Okay, so it is officially the end of week one on the 30 days. Um, I've learnt that I definitely need to uh, meal prep or do something like that because I did have a few cheats in this week in terms of 30 day approved foods um, and I definitely found that having like the shakes or smoothies or um, smoothie bowls or whatever it is I'm doing if I'm having like the oats or whatever um, they do actually really fill me up and sometimes on some days, actually I think most of them, I do actually struggle to stick to like eating every four hours just because I just find I'm not that hungry. So um, yeah, it does definitely fill me up, which is brilliant, obviously. It really does make me feel full and I'm definitely feeling less bloated. Um, I'm gonna show you a before and after now. I haven't actually seen the before and after side by side. So um, I do feel less bloated. Um, in terms of my energy levels and stuff like that, this is obviously my third week, not my third week, my third month doing the 30 days. So my energy levels have been pretty good since doing them. Um, yeah, I pretty much feel energetic throughout the day. Some days I don't even actually have my Fizdick drinks. I haven't really been showing them in, in this week, but I kind of just have them in the day, like whenever. Um, I usually have one especially if i've gone for a walk or done some exercise i'll have one after that yeah there are some days where i don't even drink and i don't drink the fizz sticks and i don't feel tired at all um and the days that i do drink them it's not like i'm feeling tired i just drink it because i'm like hey i've done some exercise it'd be good to have a bit of a fizz stick just to give me that extra boost of energy and get those vit vitamin b's in but yeah that's kind of how i'm feeling in terms of like results i definitely think I'm fine 
with breakfast and lunch breakfast and lunch for me are fine like i don't struggle with that and like having snacks and stuff like that like i'm all good because it's kind of like the shakes i kind of know what to do they're quite easy i can make a smoothie bowl or make like oats or do something like that i mean i can do pancakes as well but they're really long to make so um don't know if i'll be adding that but dinner for me is a little bit of a struggle in terms of what to eat just because i am a vegetarian so then sometimes I just think if I'm having like loads of vegetables and beans in my vegetables and stuff like that and, and then it's like um, yeah I, I just struggle with it a little bit so I do need to take that into consideration um I think I'm really lazy when it comes to like cooking as well so vegetarian meals when you're cooking whole foods it's like they can be kind of tedious but i guess that's the same if you're cooking meat anyway but um so far so good i'm definitely going to i think i'm going to start meal prepping dinners just because i do struggle with that i'm not gonna lie i do struggle with like coming up with the dinners and stuff i just think it's like yeah i'm just so used to eating like normal rice and if i could make a curry like curries just don't I just don't think they're that great with brown. Although I haven't actually even tried it. I'm making like pre-assumpted pre pre judgment. I don't even know if that's the right word. But I'm basically pre-judging without having actually tried it. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, yeah, try and actually plan my dinners. My lunch and my breakfast is fine. I'm more than fine with that. And like how I have snacks and stuff, that's not a problem for me. But I think I definitely need to plan dinners. So that's what I'm gonna do for week two. And, um, yeah see you next week for video number two so if you have enjoyed this video and found it kind of interesting make sure to give it a like comment down below subscribe to the channel as well so that you don't miss the rest of this series um and also if you have any questions about the program that i am doing just drop me a, yeah just comment down below and i can sort of answer any questions and anything like that uh so yeah hope you have a lovely week guys and i'll see you next week with week two bye